Where can Corbin Johnson, the 18-year-old, be found? Police are now beginning an investigation into the murder of a teen who until last week was a missing person. Looking for answers and to alleviate their anxiety, 18-year-old Corbin Johnson's parents turned to people they know and prayer. Lord, this mother's heart is grieving. Gathering with the community advocacy group, Mad Dads, friends and family at this north side vigil, you can see the anxiousness in their faces. Corbin's parents say they have no idea where their son is after his friends called looking for him too. Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18-year-old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview and they never saw him again. Now, if you're thinking maybe the teenager just ran away, Jacksonville police say they don't think so. 18-year-old Corbin Johnson hasn't been seen since he left his house Wednesday night. Here's a picture of him behind us. And there's little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Tom, I have been looking into how police were able to identify the remains in just a matter of days. A man found them out here in this wooded area on Thursday, and JSO released the identity to the public just last night. July 11th, 2018. The life of Corbin Odell Johnson's family was on the verge of transformation, and his position will be endangered. In the morning, Corbin was determined to achieve his goals, inserting the subsequent fragment of his existence. The location where he was looking for a job put effort into realizing that vision. Corbin experienced two interviews in actuality. The first was slated for that day. He was associated with the large corporation Amazon, known as Mammoth Firm currently in the company of his friends, Jerika and Sims. Makai Johnson would communicate with him through engaged in a FaceTime conversation while he was still employed at Amazon. It was approximately 4 p.m. During the phone conversation, Corbin would inquire about his friends, inquire whether they are able to obtain something in return, inform him about the need to consume food, and also specify that he had already eaten. Waiting for transportation, his companions would terminate the call. Corbin was collected by his father. Proceed to another interview. Duration of operations at the prominent logistics company UPS. It is currently 5 p.m. and Corbin was abandoned. Assigned by his father to his second job interview for the day when Corbin was. I text him that next morning around 8.39 because he didn't get the job to see how he was doing. I never did get a response. Concluded his interview. A family member would retrieve the man. He arrived at approximately 7.45 p.m. Accompanied Corbin to the sign indicating the direction of his mother's residence in the northern region. The residence located on Biscayne Bay Circle was observed at approximately 9 p.m. until 9.30 p.m. Although everything appeared to be in order, there was an underlying issue. An imminent event was on the verge of occurring. Corbin becomes the epitome of everyone's greatest nightmare. The individual would reside with his mother for around 30 units of time, a few moments prior to departing in a white vehicle. The automobile was not the usual one. The individual is known to the family as his mother's acquaintance, was unaware of the person's identity, and collected him over the final 30 minutes. These would be the final recollections she possessed of Corbin Johnson is her son. Corbin failed to return to his residence. Corbin did not respond to his phone call. Corbin's father decided to file a police report on that day, officially declaring Corbin as missing. Despite the passage of five days, there was still no indication of Corbin's whereabouts, which compelled the family to take proactive measures. Corbin's parents are unaware of their son's whereabouts, as his friends have also contacted them expressing concern about his disappearance. They have not received any communication from Corbin, which is unusual for him. Corbin had the freedom to spend time with his friends, but his mother constantly emphasized the importance of informing her about his whereabouts, even if he was out for the night. However, it has been a week, and none of them has received this message. The parents of 18-year-old Corbin Johnson sought solace in the prayers and support of those they knew and trusted. At the Northside Vigil, they were joined by members of the community advocacy group Mad Dads, Friends, and Family. The expressions of anxiety on their faces were palpable, the parents pleaded with the community to unite and asked anyone with information to contact the JSO, themselves, or someone else. Their immediate goal was to find someone. Since Corbin had never gone missing before, his sudden departure was a tragic and distressing occurrence. Despite a year-long and arduous search by family and friends, the case went cold. However, 
exactly one year after Corbin's disappearance on July 11, 2019, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office received a call at approximately 6.10 p.m. The caller, who was working in the woods off UTC Road North, informed officers that they had discovered a bag containing skeletal remains. I was on the ground with a brush hog when he trampled a bag, exposing the black bones within. The body inside had been wrapped in a green tarp before being placed in the bag. Upon closer inspection, he discovered the complete skeleton. I returned to the spot where the bag had been and noticed that the ribs, leg bones, femur, and other bones were lying approximately 10 feet away from my tractor. After transferring the remains to the medical examiner for study, investigators would soon be able to link the body to a specific person. Investigators started exposing their suspicions of foul play and a possible connection to a cold case on July 12, 2019, the following day. A few days later, on Monday night, July 15, 2019, news reports would reveal that the remains were found to be those of Corbin Johnson, elevating the case to one of murder. Who was responsible for Corbin's murder? His family and friends finally found their son, but the reality was tough to bear. What would you want to say to whoever is responsible for this? The community of Jacksonville is hurting and inconsolable over the shocking discovery. What happened next was unexpected and devastating. In the midst of yet another tragedy, loved ones had to deal with the callousness of gang culture and hip-hop. As an example of how social media can trivialize serious issues, the hashtag Where's Corbin became viral on TikTok, garnering over 3 million views. His mother had no idea why her son was suddenly getting so much attention. Now to an I-Team investigation. The murder of an 18-year-old Jacksonville man becomes the center of a nationwide TikTok trend. Corbin Johnson disappeared in 2018. His remains were found a year later. The song Beatbox Remix Bibby Flow by Jacksonville musician Julio Fulio was published last year. It was used in the film TikToks. This is the musical inspiration for the trend. The song and TikTok skit were disrespectful to Corbin's family and his passing because of the section where the TikTokers portrayed the murder of an 18-year-old guy in Jacksonville as the focus of a national TikTok scandal. Julio Fulio is a member of the Jacksonville rap collective KTA. His song was a diss to rivals, with lyrics that made fun of all those who were murdered. Julio in songs on the live post of his Instagram, hopefully one day the person responsible was found and put to justice so the family can have full closure and know that the person who took the life of their son and caused him so much pain wouldn't be able to hurt any other family. May you find eternal peace. Tell me I say, where is Corbin? I don't know what Corbin is. But yeah, that's all I have to say. For the most part, it is disgusting a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, you do have some people that 